Welcome back to the Military Vectionology channel, where we bring you the latest and most exciting updates on military technology from all around the globe. Today we're diving deep into a dramatic event that's sending shockwaves worldwide, as the United States Air Force just achieved a groundbreaking milestone that's catching everyone's attention. Curious about what's making headlines? Let's take a closer look. One of the standout features is the AGM-183A, a hypersonic weapon system designed for rapid airborne response. This cutting-edge missile technology has just completed its first full-scale test, and the results are nothing short of extraordinary. On December 9th, under the supervision of the 412th Test Wing at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California, the fully operational version of the AGM-183A exceeded all expectations, achieving speeds five times the speed of sound before completing its flight and self-destructing. Right from the start, you could feel the passion and meticulous preparation of the expert team at Edwards AFB. The 12th test of this hypersonic weapon, carried out by one of the most renowned teams in the U.S. Air Force, was meticulously planned, with the main goal being to assess the performance of this advanced hypersonic weapon. And the results were clear. AGM-183A proved its immense potential. Launched from the B-52H Stratofortress, a powerful symbol of U.S. Air Force might, the AGM-183A soared across the sky at an astonishing speed more than 3,800 miles per hour, five times the speed of sound. Can you imagine that? A weapon that can travel so fast, it can easily bypass current defense systems in the blink of an eye. Throughout the flight, every metric from the trajectory to adjustments was executed with precision, showcasing the advanced technical capabilities of this hypersonic weapon. And as part of the testing process, the AGM-183A self-destructed to ensure safety while still gathering critical data for performance analysis. This milestone doesn't just represent a significant achievement. It also signals the readiness of the U.S. military to leverage hypersonic technology. Let's dive deeper into the global impact of hypersonic weapons. Did you know these weapons can travel faster than five times the speed of sound? This not only gives them a huge speed advantage, but also makes them capable of evading and penetrating current defense systems with ease. Hypersonic weapons like the AGM-183A pose a significant threat to traditional missile defense systems, thanks to their ability to change course mid-flight, making them almost impossible to track. What do you think the future of military technology will look like with the rise of these kinds of weapons? Will current defense systems be able to upgrade quickly enough to keep up? Share your thoughts in the comments. With their insane speed and ability to launch surprise attacks, the AGM-183A truly marks a breakthrough, opening up a new era in military technology. A missile that can respond swiftly, strike targets precisely, and minimize the risk of detection or counterattack gives the U.S. military a strategic edge in addressing and eliminating threats across the globe, whether it's from China, Russia, or elsewhere. Nations are heavily investing in the research and development of these game-changing weapons, with the U.S. alone spending over $3 billion in 2024 to accelerate the development of hypersonic weapon systems, including the JWC and NARLW programs. China and Russia are also pouring billions into similar projects, with Russia successfully launching the df zaf hypersonic missile and pioneering the Zircon missile while China is making notable strides in hypersonic missile development, demonstrating their growing military capabilities. France is not sitting on the sidelines either, planning to invest over 100 million euros annually into hypersonic weapon development as part of their VMAX program. The global landscape of modern warfare is undergoing a massive transformation. Imagine having the power to deliver precision strikes at lightning speed. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But this is no longer just fiction. The United States has demonstrated its commitment to pushing the boundaries of hypersonic technology with the successful AGM-183A test. And the continued investment in research and development shows that the U.S. aims to maintain its leadership in the hypersonic arms race. Hypersonic weapons have become a top priority for several countries, including the U.S., Russia, and China. These weapons are designed to travel at speeds above Mach 5 and beyond. 
Today we're going to explore the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon LRHW program, developed by the renowned aerospace company Lockheed Martin. The LRHW program has made impressive strides and is set to enhance long-range strike capabilities. Further, another significant project, the Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept, HAWC, led by the Pentagon's Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, and developed by brilliant minds at Raytheon Technologies, promises to elevate U.S. Air Force hypersonic capabilities to a whole new level. Alongside Lockheed Martin and Raytheon, other key players like Russia and China are also progressing in hypersonic technology. Russia's advances, such as the pioneering hypersonic missile system, enable warheads to be launched from intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, presenting a serious challenge to current missile defense systems. With incredible speed and maneuverability, Russia's Zircon missile and air-launched Kinjal missile further solidify Russia's leadership in the hypersonic arms race. Meanwhile, China continues to push forward, developing the DF-17 hypersonic vehicle, which has made significant progress. While the specifics are scarce, many experts believe the DF-17 has a range of around 1,000 to 1,500 miles, underscoring China's ambition not only to defend its national interests, but also to expand its influence in the region. As the development and proliferation of these advanced weapons continue, they will profoundly impact the future of military conflicts, especially as the hypersonic arms race between global powers heats up. What are your thoughts on this race? Which nation will rise to the forefront in this new age of warfare? The US, Russia, and China? have all made considerable strides in developing hypersonic weapons, and the increasing importance of this technology in modern military strategy is undeniable. With the successful completion of the AGM-183A test, its capabilities have been confirmed, giving the U.S. a significant advantage as it seeks to maintain its lead in the hypersonic arms race. With its ability to reach deep into enemy territory, launched from the B-52 bomber, and its advanced guidance system ensuring precision targeting, the AGM-183A enhances the U.S.'s effectiveness in modern warfare scenarios. Lockheed Martin is preparing for mass production in fiscal year 2024, signaling the acceleration of the intense competition between global powers. Hypersonic weapons like the AGM-183A not only represent a breakthrough in modern warfare, but also offer a level of flexibility that traditional defense systems struggle to match. With extreme speed, the missile can carry out rapid, precise strikes on high-value targets while minimizing the time for the enemy to react. This capability makes hypersonic weapons a game-changer, providing a decisive advantage in future conflicts. Beyond just their offensive capabilities, hypersonic weapons could be used to quickly neutralize time-sensitive targets such as air defense systems, missile defense systems, or critical infrastructure, making it much harder for adversaries to defend against these high-speed threats. Their development is reshaping defense strategies globally, and countries are pouring significant resources into hypersonic research to ensure their own security. However, the proliferation of hypersonic weapons also raises concerns about escalation and a new arms race. As more countries invest in hypersonic technology, the risk of miscalculations and unintended consequences increases. Hypersonic weapons reduce decision-making time, potentially leading to mistakes due to the heightened pressure of rapid conflict escalation. To address these challenges, international cooperation and arms control agreements will be vital to manage the risks of hypersonic proliferation and help maintain global stability. The development and deployment of hypersonic weapons are no easy task, as they pose significant technological challenges. The extreme speeds and maneuverability of these weapons generate intense heat and mechanical pressure on their components, requiring innovative solutions from engineers and scientists. One of the biggest hurdles is managing the extreme temperatures generated during hypersonic flight, which can reach thousands of degrees Fahrenheit. Researchers are developing advanced materials and thermal protection systems to withstand these extreme conditions, ensuring the integrity of the missile while in flight. Testing hypersonic systems also requires state-of-the-art facilities, such as wind tunnels capable of simulating hypersonic airflows. For example, NASA's Langley Research Center has a hypersonic wind tunnel that can test missile designs at speeds exceeding Mach 5. 
These tests involve complex algorithms, sensitive sensors, and actuators capable of responding quickly to ever-changing flight conditions. As hypersonic weapons become a reality, their integration into defense arsenals worldwide will depend on strong infrastructure and international collaboration. So, what do you think? Can the world achieve stability when all nations possess hypersonic weapons? And will effective control measures be implemented to prevent escalating tensions? If you're passionate about modern weaponry and want to stay up to date on the latest advancements, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the military tech and community so you never miss an exciting update on the world of cutting-edge military technology.